Moving on to the question number five, which is to solve proportions. This is again similar to the previous topics. It is just the same method, same concept, but a bit longer this time. You can see the problems are like this. Here we have to solve each proportion if necessary round off to the nearest hundred. Now this is the question here. How would we start solving this? Look, the above terms are together. Now I will just draw the graphs over here. See this term and this term is together. This and this is together. And this below term can be easily multiplied. Okay, or cross multiplied. So now what we do is I'll write it out over here. 4v plus 7 divided by 15 equals 6v plus 2. The best and the easy way would be just cross multiplying because they are, there's an equal to in between, right? Don't keep anything in the denominator because it's very hard. Try to make everything in the numerator. There are other ways to simplify, but the easiest would be cross multiply. This goes to the other side, this to the other side. Or you're basically multiplying by 15 and 10 on both the sides and then the 15 away cancels you are remaining with 10 and here 10 cancels remaining with 15 uh, whichever is okay but I feel that 10 will go to the other side this is 7 equals now remember this term whatever is originally there put it in brackets that is very important and then this 15 comes up over here this is the thing now we do distributive property that is multiply this inside to both the terms now the uh, concept which was taught beforehand in the previous question multiplying this this is very important you're multiplying 10 inside it'll be 40 v plus 70 that is equal to 15 times 6 75 plus 15 is 90 v plus 30. Now simplify the v's. Now how would you take which to take this or this? We need to have v's in the one side, the variable v and the numbers in one side. Always look which is the bigger number. The variable having 90 is the bigger variable, I mean bigger value rather than the 40 into v. So v can be any value, say v is 2. Doesn't matter what, 40 into 2 will be 80, whereas 90 into 2 will be 180. So this is the bigger value, isn't it? So that is why we consider the coefficient of the variable, whichever is bigger, leave it over there. Don't move that. The smaller one moves. Whereas over here, this one, numbers just to other side. Doesn't matter which is big or small, only the variable. So this 90V remains and this 40V goes to the other side, becomes negative 40. Whereas 70 over here and minus 30. Now let's simplify this. 70 minus 30 would give you uh, 40 equals here it will be 50V. Now take this to the other side. 50 to the other side will be 40 by 50 equals V. That is 4 by 5. 4 by 5 is the answer. This is how we solve it. Now here also uh, what's done over here. 4 by 5 or 0 0.8 it's the same thing. Um, you know, it's okay. They have just done it long. Multiply by one number, one more number. Anyway, this is the same thing. It's not wrong or anything. It's just that this method is very easier, okay? And you can also do this in calculator. You can do, the, uh, do it directly. Take out your calculators. You type it out as it is. 4V, that is alpha X plus 7, divided by 15. This is equal to... 6 alpha x plus 2 by 10. Both the variables are same. If this is say one value, this is also the same value. So variable x and x. Now shift and solve. You'll directly and press equal to. You'll directly get the answer 0 0.8. And that was the answer over here. You can see same answer. Same thing. All these problems can be easily solved in the calculator. But if you're directly doing it, this is the method. I'll do this one. This is easy. You can try this just like the previous one. Let me do a difficult one. All the value, uh, methods are there. The steps are there over here. Even this is very straightforward. The steps are there over here. Let me see. Okay, this one, the G's and all is down. So how would you do this? Again, the concept is the same. Only thing is, 
Now this entire term moves to the other numerator and this to the other side of equal to. That would mean it would be 5g plus 10. Let me just, sorry. First, let me write 2 because it's easier to have a number at the left side. This number, right, the 2 is over here, multiplied with this entire term over there, 5g plus 10. That is equal to 4 remains and whatever is there, it comes up g plus 6. This is the thing. Now, you have to multiply this inside over here. It will be 2 times 5 is 10g plus 10 times 2 is 20. That is equal to 4g plus 6 times 4 is 24. This is the answer. I mean, this is the simplification of the uh, distributive property. It's not the answer. But what I want to say is, this is how we get this. Now, we have done this before. 10g is bigger. Leave it over there. 4g is small. Take it away to the other side minus 4g numbers all at one place 24 minus 20 it'll be 6g equals 4 g equals 4 by 6 or g equals 2 by third or two thirds that will be 0 0.666 so that is the answer okay 0 0.67 to simplify it off now this is how we would do it. It will just repeat, right? 0 0.6666 and it keeps on going. So we just write 67. This is how we do it. If you want, you can put this in the calculator and directly get this answer. That's also possible. Same, same concept, same method used everywhere. This is again another straightforward problem. So please do it by yourself. You can see the, it's just simple as this. Take the six and three to the other side and simplify. Even over here, take 8 and 7 to the other sides and simplify it. You can easily do this and you can check the answers. The, all the problems are just the straight, uh, straightforward problems, very same. There is only one variable in proportion, so it's very, very easy. Okay, you can easily solve it up. And this is the answer. Now, if you're thinking, oh, we can just put this in calculator, like I'm in mean, last solving. But over here, what would happen is, this 18, 18 cancels, 26 by 18. If you write this in fractions, that would be over here, that is equal to 13 by 9. 13 by 9 is 1.44. So that's why this answer. And here as well, all problems are very simple and easy. So I hope you can do it by yourselves. Try solving all the problems, okay? That's the answer. Let me do, this is also again easy. Let me do the last one. Oh, here is the answer. Now this is also easy, but let me just do it. This is the last problem. Now here, take the seven to the other side. Easily it can be done. Seven J minus five. That is equal to two times J plus eight. Now the seven multiplies inside seven J minus seven times five is 35. That is equal to two J plus 8 times 2 is 16. Uh, leave the 7j over here. Take the smaller seven, uh, j to the other side. Minus 2j, that is equal to 35 plus 16. And 35 plus 16 would be 45, 51. And over here, we would have 5j. Uh, let me just check this out. Yeah, it's 15. Uh, j is equal to 51 by 5 that would be nearly 10.0 uh, 10.2 i guess okay it'll be 10 150 yeah it'll be 10.2 let's check yeah that's the answer now if you're thinking how we can directly do this is you know what i do is uh, if you're not using your calculators there's a method you you know this is 51 right so 50 plus 1 divided by 5. That would be 50 by 5 plus 1 by 5. 50 by 5 is 10 plus 1 fifth. That is 10 1 fifths. 1 fifth is 0 0.2, right? 1 part of 5. That would be 20% or 10 plus 0 0.2 or 10.2. So that's, that's how we can get it directly. Um, I mean, you can do it in mind. Starting, it might be, oh, what is this? But if you practice with a couple of problems, it'll just come to your mind directly. You know, the answer will directly pop up. Uh, so this is how we can solve it. 
And that's the end of this topic. Please do practice more problems. And if you have any doubts, post them in the comments and I will try to get back to you very soon.